Hi everyone, Jim from Javelin here with another SolidWorks Tech Tip. It's laundry day, as you might be able to hear in the background, and I have found a common problem between laundry and SolidWorks, and that's that it can be a bit tricky to get something that's white, like say this dirty t-shirt, to be looking white. So, what I'm going to do is, if you take a look, I've already gone in and applied an appearance so that it looks white so that it's supposed to be white anyways. Now I don't have this problem with say purple shirts or green shirts, but I have this problem where white shirts end up looking gray. The reason for this is actually less to do with color and more to do with light. So what I'm going to do is if you go up here to this beach ball icon, the display manager, and we'll click on this icon here, We'll next expand out lights. And we're going to go to the ambient one and we're going to edit that light. Now the ambient light is currently set at 0.3 so that's like 30 percent. So you'll notice that as I grab this slider and I drag it to the right my shirt gets whiter and whiter and whiter until well it becomes kind of hard to see. And I suspect this is why SolidWorks did this. It's so that you can actually see something that's white on a white background. Of course, the other option for this is if you go into your system options, go to where it says colors, and we'll change our viewport background from white to something else. This will make it possible to see the white t-shirt. Of course, it helps if we turn on the shaded with edges as well, which will allow us to clearly see our t-shirt. And now back to laundry.